bad start. I tried. Egg number three. Happened. I understand it though really because last week I'm sure I saw it moving even on like say day 18 number one was moving but anyway I'll read the manual again for more tips this is quite good this manual it also tells you you know hatching best fertilised eggs choosing choosing your eggs Using incubator tips, egg hygiene, etc. Healthy stock. Make sure they've got their vitamins. Storage of eggs. Um, temperature, it tells you the temperature. And it tells you the reasons why things don't work. Okay, day 24. Yes. Number three has gone. I broke it because it was just totally see through. It was just a yolk, a milky yolk. I'll still leave him there for a day or so. That's the uh, cold alarm. So I'll just switch that off. The grandkids are going to be so disappointed. So, what have I done? Got some eggs. Okay, and also Thunderbird is laying, 12, 13, this a day, 15, so I have a feeling that when she's done a week's worth of eggs, she might want to sit on them, so. To encourage her, I've bought some fake eggs, some wooden ones. Encourage her to make a broody. It'd be better if she did it herself, and then we're much more likely to things to go right and not things to go wrong. It's you again, isn't it, Thunderbird? What's the matter now? What? What's the matter with her? What is the matter with you? You're always squawking. Hey, saw that. Ah. Getting a bully. Alright, little Holly. Holly Beach. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. You can live out of the way now, at least, can't you? We're going to have a bit of fun with the Thunderbird. We've got some eggs in the hedge. In this little nest. Let's see what happens. Actually, a bit on the small side, but we'll see. That's what you think. Not impressed. Nice tail flap. This is where she laid them before. So here she is, look. Mm -hmm. In the raspberries. Ooh. Some of these are quite nice. Yeah, that's a pretty perfect one. Hmm. Back first. Mm. 